What's good with you guys, man? Back with another YouTube video today, and we got another paternity court reaction today. And um, you guys been, oh my God, like I got like 160 subscribers now, man. We're on the road to 200. And after that, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go up from there. If you guys are new, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys subscribe. Because if you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you can get them recommended to you. You know what I'm saying? And um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let's go. You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Williams Mayberry versus Wynn. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Williams, from the moment you saw Quinesha Mayberry, you believe that she is your biological daughter, even though the defendant claimed you are not. You hope today's results prove what you have known for 35 years. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Wynn, you... Oh, this is the first time we got one of these videos where the kid is grown. Usually they be babies. Oh, so this one's about to be interesting. The, the daughter can actually say stuff. So let's go. Claim that you have never given the plaintiff a reason to believe he is your daughter, Quinesha's father. In fact, you say you have always known who her dad is. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Williams, I'll start with you. Tell me about the moment you realized Quinesha was your daughter. Well, it was the first time I saw her. You know, she just, she looked like me, fair skin, and I just, I just knew she was my daughter. And when was this, sir? When she, um, about a week after she was born. Oh, right after she was born? Yeah. Well, damn, she 35 now. You done missed out on her whole, her whole life, my guy. Like, damn. Shit, if I was you, I'm pretty sure she didn't make you pay child support. Shit, I would have just been like, it is what it is. But I guess he care about her, but... Mm, I don't know. Like, nigga, she's 35. But you gonna have an shit. You know what I'm saying? No offense, you're kind of old. It's no telling how long you gonna be here. You probably, most likely, you're not gonna be here for another 35, so... Not even, maybe not even another 18, so, yeah. You looked at her and you said, this is my daughter. Yep. Because you felt like she looked like you. Well, she's fair-skinned. I was fair-skinned. Her mom is dark and the other guy, he's darker. That's not a lot of criteria. No, but I just felt, <laughs> I felt it in my heart. And most babies are very pale when they're born. Well, I just felt it in my heart that she was mine. So you really did. You had yes. that feeling like, this is my daughter. Yes. And you've held on to that feeling. Yes. And so for 35 years, you've been saying, this is my daughter. Yes. But Ms. Wynn, you say he's not her biological father. He's not her father, Your Honor. <laughs> Color don't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, because he light-skinned and she light-skinned, the other guy is dark-skinned, I'm dark-skinned. That don't prove that he's her father. It sure doesn't. I know who's her father. What's well, different it's not, when you got... It's not Stanley. Well, Your he Honor. seems pretty certain that it is, and I would like to hear his testimony. I want to start with the nature of your relationship. Can you take me back, Mr. Williams, and explain to the court what the nature of your relationship was with Ms. Wynn? Well, we was um, just close friends at one while. They used to live next door to me, and she used to come by where I used to work at probably 30, 40 times a day, just walking in front of the door to get my attention. <laughs> And so, you know, we end up, you know, we did mess around, but it was never a relationship. So how long did this sexual relationship last? Uh, I don't remember, like four or five months, something like that. All right. So, Ms. Wynn, how do you remember your relationship with Mr. Williams? Can you take me back? I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember at all. If he said it happened, it must have happened. I don't remember. <laughs> So it is your testimony you do not remember having sexual relations with Mr. Williams. No, Your Honor. I do not remember. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Like, what? Do you remember walking past the store and trying to get his attention? Yes. So you remember, both of you all were young and you, he was working in the store and you remember walking past trying to get his attention. Yes, I walked past that shoe shine probably about 10 times a day. About That's what he about said. Maybe, maybe more. And so was... That still he... don't prove he's the father. No, it doesn't. 
Look, she about to take my job, uh, Jerome. <laughs> Sorry. She <laughs> said, that don't prove nothing. No, walking past the store doesn't. She's saying she don't remember. She not saying that she didn't have sex with him. Like, I need to hear that come out of her mouth. No, me and him did not ever have sex. She's just saying she don't remember it. Like, bitch, hey, um, I, 30, 35 years ago, wasn't that the 80s, right? I'm not good with math, but we, go, <laughs> we know what used to happen in the 80s. Crack, crack, crack. Um, Yeah. Her ass must have been strung out on crack, boy. What the fuck? Prove he's the father, you're correct. I'm trying to get to, do you remember him asking you on a date or meeting up with him later? Your Honor, I don't remember none of it. And if Stanley knew he was to feel that he was a father, he could have been, did this test. He used to come get her, take her over to his house. He could have did it then. Well, if you didn't you want to wait I... 35 years to do this now? If you didn't think I would... Oh, um, this the daughter in the middle right here. I just noticed. I'm like, why is she standing with... Yeah, why is she standing with him? Why is she standing with him? I guess because she believe... Okay. Because why would you let me take your baby? It's going to be awkward if this nigga ain't the father. Me. I didn't have a pro... I didn't have a problem. I didn't have a problem, Your Honor. I didn't have a problem him coming over to taking my daughter because, like you said, we grew up together. He knew my family, I knew his family. I didn't have a problem with him taking my daughter to his house. So wait a minute, I mean, even though you grow up with somebody and you know them, that doesn't mean it's like, come on over and get my daughter and just take her. When would you take Quinesha, Mr. Williams? Well, the first time I took her home to my mom and I asked my mom, I said, um, do she look like me? And my mom said, yeah, that's your baby, Stan. How old was she? Quinesha had to be um, months old. She was months old. I used to and go get her. And you came and picked up a newborn baby. Yes. And she wasn't no newborn. Yes. He ain't got no pictures with her being a newborn. Not with newborns, but I had. I used to go get her all the time. It was once I came and got her for like my she nieces. Did five months is a newborn, basically. Basically. Nephew's birthday parties. I used to go yeah, get. Yeah, that's an infant. They, you know what I'm saying, like her, so she can come and play with the other kids, and I will keep her the duration of the party. How long did that last? How often was that? Well, it wasn't often because I lost contact. I lost contact with them for a long time, but I was still looking for her. And you've submitted to the court the one photo you've held on to over these years. Yep. So this is a photo of you and Quinesha. Yes. You took that together many, many years ago. She has to be, what, three or four? I don't remember how old she was, but yeah, that's one of the photos. Yeah. Well, Your Honor, he should have tested her when he had her when she was over his house like that. When she was three years old, he should have tested her. But why she... wait 35 years to do this? And I don't understand why Miss Stanley brought me all the way here to get a DNA test. For answers. This is something we was already talking about doing anyway. We just had a conversation. She don't got nothing to say, like. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the kids be that, they be children, like babies, like infants, like they can't say anything, but she can talk. Like, Judge, can you ask her, do she remember him being in her life or something? Like, her ass just sitting here looking at her mom and her, well, her mom and her possible dad argue. Last year that we was going to go and get a DNA test. And where do she look like him at? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. So, Quinesha, he claimed... Wasn't she just the one talking about how looks don't matter? But when it's in her favor, it matters? You lost contact at some point. Who did you grow up thinking was your father? Um, the man that signed my birth certificate. Like, um, I'm, I met him, like, twice. I don't feel like we have a connection. I, I definitely don't look like him. I really don't feel like that's my father. Oh, you had no... That's so fucked up, bro. That's so messed up. Like... People always say, yeah, um, men, like, boys, like, teenage boys, they need their fathers. But children, regardless, need their fathers. So you, if you want to do it by race, white, white girls need their dads, white boys need their dads. Like, everyone needs their dad in their life, bro. And luckily for me, I have my dad in my life, but I know it's a lot of people that are unfortunate and it's not nothing that y'all can do about it that don't have y'all dads in your life. And I truly, truly feel for people like that because it's not y'all fault. Like, 
there's some bitch ass niggas out here that just don't take care of their kids. And whenever I do have kids, I definitely will take care of my kids. Like, I guess that's going to happen, like, regardless. So it's just unfortunate, man. It's not nothing that y'all can do about it. Just... Connection with him. Nope. And you've only seen him like two. Like, if you just have sex with one person, you won't have this problem. You won't, bro. Like, you literally won't. Times. Yep. And that was when I was like 18, so. Yeah, I've been mom and dad to her, and I'm still mom and dad. You've been. You wouldn't have to be if you would have just had sex with one man. A mom, and probably a really great mom. They love, single mothers love saying, I'm mom and dad. Er, 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 er. Well, maybe if you would have got with a dude that has some shit going for him, they always, every time all these dudes be like, oh yeah, he, he was living with his sister. If you got a real dude that has something going for him, that had a promising future, and that genuinely loved you, you wouldn't have to be mom and dad. Niggas ain't shit. No, the niggas you find ain't shit. I hate when, I hate when girls post shit like that on social media. Niggas ain't shit. Then I got to look at that shit and be like, nah, that's that. Don't put that nigga on us. The fuck? It's niggas out here that be staying out the way, don't be on no dumb shit, and y'all just got to find them niggas. Like, it'd be so crystal clear. Like, it'd be girls that I know. I'd be like, yeah, this isn't going to last long. Like, girls I know, they have posts, they do it on social media. I'm like, mm, let's give it three months. <laughs> let's give it three months. Let's give it some time. It won't it won't work. And then I'd be right. Meanwhile, I'm sitting in the back lonely, you know what I'm saying? But this ain't no simp story. Let's get back into the video. But she wouldn't be standing here if you were the dad and could really fill those shoes. You aren't. And that's why she wants to know who her father is. And that's no slight to you. I mean, you may have been an incredible mother, but she still has that desire to know who her father is. That's why we're here to support her and Mr. Williams and you to try to figure out what in the world is going on. I mean, I don't think I've ever heard a, a, a mom say, I don't even remember this per <laughs> sleeping with the person. Wow. And like I said, it was like the 80s. Her ass had to be on some of that good crack. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't pointing fingers, you know what I'm saying? But that's the only possible outcome. Your ass was strung out on crack and you don't remember. And <laughs> let me just say it because I've been thinking it. Bro, if a girl don't remember having sex with you, your sex was awful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Or unless she was drunk every single night or something. Bro, if she doesn't remember having sex with you, Nine times out of ten, you either Bill cosby her ass, which he didn't do that because we would be in a court for a whole different situation, <laughs> or your shit was trash. Yeah. The dad be so sure that he's the biological father. This is a first. Yeah, not memorable. Memorable. yeah how is this nigga sure? Like, obvious, I was about to ask a dumb question. Obviously, she was having sex with other men, unprotected. Because she don't even think he the father, so... How you so show, nigga? But he, I don't think he ever said he was sure. I think he just said he, in his heart, he believed. So, Mr. Williams, back in the day, like, when this picture was taken... This is really confusing me why she's standing with him, though. Like, this is really crazy to me. Mm -hmm. Were you running around saying, here's my daughter, Quenisha? Yeah, that's how I addressed it. When everybody, anybody asked me about her, I'll say, this is my daughter. Was anybody else saying, this is my daughter? It was uh, um, one situation where I went over to her house and um, her and the guy, was supposed to be her dad, was sitting on the porch. And I walked past him and I went in the house and the next thing I hear is blah, 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 going down the stairs. The guy got mad at her and pushed her down the stairs because he looked that's at me not, that's and not saw her. If he had somebody pushing me down the stairs, then why he didn't come outside? <laughs> why he up in the house? Hey. <laughs> If I'm hey. supposed to be the mother of his child, why he didn't come outside? Hey. If he heard me falling down the stairs. That's you, not true. You bounced up fast. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bro. 
So how did you lose touch? I mean, it seems like you're picking her up, you're taking her to the birthday parties with the other kids, and he should have been taking her to the touch? I, I, I lost touch with him because they, they moved. And then um, the last I heard Quenisha, she was standing in Louisiana. And I was just trolling Facebook and uh, social media, and I saw one of her family members, and I was just going on each one of them until I saw uh, uh, it was a post on it that said, Callie repping Bay Bay. And I punched on it, and it was Quenisha. And that's when I reached out to her. And I asked her to ask a family member who I am. And, and they told me. Did you do that? Yes, I did. And then I asked about, like, if he could be my father, and a family member was like, yeah, possibly. Toddler chasers, horse wranglers, and multitasking actresses. And when I do these videos, it might come across as, like, I'm judging them. But I can promise y'all that I am not judging these people. It's just, do better. Like, men, women, all y'all do better. Dudes, don't have unprotected sex with a girl that you don't love, bro. And not even love. That you, like, you you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't say that. Yes, don't have unprotected sex with a girl that you don't love. But, like... Just be sure, bro. Like, just don't hit a thought raw, bro. You can't do that. You shouldn't even want to do that. If I if I don't think we're in a committed relationship and I'm all you and you all me, why would I have unprotected sex with you and risk having a kid with you? And then that would make me look dumb. Like, oh, you got the thought pregnant. Ha ha. Like, the neighborhood thought she was just with da 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 last. Uh, uh, uh. Like, what? Nah, we're not doing that over here, bro. Anisha, what were the years like before you reconnected with Mr. Williams? I mean, it was sad because, like, when I didn't want... When she made me mad, I didn't have nobody to go to. And then, like, I had family members that would, you know, tease me about not having a dad. Like, ah uh -huh, Oh, no, nah, hell no, that's fucked up. My for Me and my friends joke... That's because me and my friends joke like that. They like, you know what I'm saying? When we say we don't, you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm pretty sure, yeah, every single one of my immediate close friends, we all know our dads. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a joke. Like, you know what I'm saying? But shit like that, ugh, family, you can't be doing that with family. Friends, yes. Family, nah. And you would think it'd be the opposite way around. Nah, bro. That ain't cool. Because then, like, that just seemed, nah, that ain't cool. Why you don't have a dad? Really? Yeah. That's so hurtful. Mm -hmm. And so what? But yeah, when me and my friends do it, we strictly joking. Like, nigga, we be digging deep low key too. <laughs> you got that message from Mr. Williams. What did you feel? What were you thinking? It's, it's shocking. Like, cause you know, my mom's supposed to have told me I shouldn't have to go to my family. I remember one comment she made to me. She said, uh, I knew that man wasn't my daddy. Oh, that other man. Mm -hmm. How did you know that? Because we, we look nothing alike, like, um, I don't, there's no connection there. So, Mr. Williams, can you tell the court, describe for the court the experience reconnecting with Quenisha after 20 years? What happened? Now, the only thing we talked about is just getting a DNA test and, you know, just to make it official. Even me and her mom, we've been talking about going half on. That's why I don't know why this sounds foreign to her right now, because we've had this conversation before. Bro, her mom looks mad annoying. Like, this smug-ass look she got on her face. She make me want to slap her, bro. She like this girl I used to go to school with, dude. But nothing never, ever happened. But why are we getting a DNA test if nothing happened, though, man? Come on now, man. Like I said, he's not her father. I know he's not her father. Well, who is my daddy, then? Yeah. <laughs> Sad. Look at... Bro, if your daughter is ever asked you that question, you shouldn't be flabbered up. Uh, you shouldn't be choked up, bro. You should be like him. He's your father and there's no other possibility. It's 0.0000000% chance. But no, like, I can't, which I can't, bro. Thoughts get no love. I don't care how old they are. I don't care if the bitch 80, whatever. Thoughts get no love, bro. What? I don't know. I don't know. It ain't even... Keep your... Like, how horny are you? And it's different for women, bro. Like, y'all can call me... Let's call it... Y'all can call me, um, whatever the fuck, a misogynist, whatever. 
I don't care. I follow Hoodville on Instagram and I listen to Future. I don't care. Bro, it's a difference between a man fucking a lot of girls and a girl fucking a lot of dudes. Like, like think of it like this, right? I don't know if y'all ever heard of this before. But it, think about a key that opens a lot of doors, right? It's a master key. But a door that gets opened by a lot of keys, that's a bad lock or you're a bad door. Think of it like that, you know? Because it's like us dudes, we can have sex with multiple girls. And it's like, you know, obviously, like, it's um like, you know, sexual diseases and stuff like that. But let's just say we use a condom, right? Girls, even if you do use a condom, like, your, your stuff will start looking nasty. Like, no, bro. Like, respect yourself. It ain't Stanley. But how do the you other know, guy. though? How do you know? What? She don't look nothing like him. Okay. Where Where do you see the resemblance at? Because she light-skinned He lighter than her. She, more, she look more like me. She's just a lighter version. I ain't gonna cap. In this picture right here of her, they do kind of look alike. Yeah, just, we just, we're here today way. just to find out if Stanley is her father. So we put this all behind it. If this is your daughter, I can't give you the 35 years back. We just could go from here. That's right. Yeah. Shouldn't even be this way if you keep your legs closed and have sex with one guy. At least. Like. And I see you now, Mom. I, I see the emotion in your eyes. What are you feeling now in this moment? What are you feeling? Just, I'm just upset. And once again, I don't know if this shit real or fake, but I know real shit like this do happen in real life. So the shit I be saying don't matter if, but if it's about this episode, but shit I be speaking in general. So it's valid across everything. Like, you know? Like. I'm hurt that it's taking so long. You know, it's my fault that I did this to my daughter. Not Thank you, accountability. Fuck. Thank you, accountability. Finally. Oh, who's her father? It's not that hard to just be honest. You can spend all day condemning Mr. Williams and everything he did and he didn't do when, you know, I, I, I knew this and that's why I asked you, what was it? What were you really feeling? I'm not, you know, you know, I'm not mad at Mr. Williams because he did this. It's just like, you know, he just took so long to do it. We took so long to do it. We should have right. been did this. Right. We owe this to our daughter, if this is his daughter. <laughs> and basically, I want to know, too, to get, you know, it take a, a, a relief off of me, knowing that Mr. Williams might be her father. Because the truth is, when you say, when she says, who is your father? When you say you don't know, that really is the truth. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to my daughter. I don't know. And do you understand now, Miss Mayberry? So fucking sad. How many dudes do you have to be having sex with within one month for you to not even remember? I get it's 35 years ago, but still, like, how many, like, ugh. Not only is that nasty, like, your mother really doesn't know. And even though she may say it's not Mr. Williams, the truth is she doesn't know. Yeah, I get that. I totally understand where, where, where she coming from with that. So we're here now. Are you hoping today, Ms. Mayberry, that Mr. Williams is in fact your biological father? Do you believe he is? What do you feel? I mean, I guess she believe he is. She's standing with him and not her mom. Well, I'm hoping, because, like, I'm only child. That means I will have siblings and whatnot. My kids will have another grandparent. Can you look at your mom and tell her what you really feel? Well, mama, I feel like it, it's always been a piece missing. Like, I always had issues, because... It's a di Get the fuck out of here. Um, it's a difference between you having brothers and sisters and all y'all collectively don't know who y'all dad is rather than you being the only child and you don't know who your dad is. Like, that's fucked up. I wanted brothers and sisters. I know. Take your time. Just be honest. 
<laughs> Get your hoeing ass over there. Don't cry. We're going to get through this. Okay? I know. It's okay. Can you finish what you wanted to say? I don't know. I just want to find out the truth. I don't want to keep dragging it along. I just want to know for me and for my kids. And I have those results for you. Jerome, may I have the envelope, please? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Mayberry Williams versus Wynn. At T-Mobile, we believe you should Maybe get hit more. With the ad. That's why oh, we that's merged hard. with Sprint. When it comes to Quinesha Mayberry, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Williams, you are not the father. I'm very sorry. Terrible. I'm sorry I could not give you the closure you needed. Ms. Wynn, can you remember, identify, think about any other person you may have been dating at that time? It's the man that signed her birth certificate. And so, Quinesha, well, I guess, you know, sometimes we just have to find like I always say, the magic in the mess. Like we hear the magic and, 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 and the miracle of it is that his name's on your birth certificate and you know where he is. No, I don't know where he is. And I prefer to keep it that way. Well, listen, I know you've been through so much and this particular hearing was to get you a level of closure that I hope you understand was necessary. And mom, if there is another person besides... Hey, like she was just like she just said though, like I prefer to keep it that way. What Don Tolliver say? You can't miss what you never had. Yeah. You cannot miss what you never had before, so it is what it is. Hides this man on her birth certificate instead of working her up to where she goes through this whole thing and tracks him down and he's not the father. If there's more than one possibility, so be it. Let's just lay it on the line. And I hope you get the answers and the closure you deserve, okay? Thank you, Your Honor. Absolutely, honey. I wish you the very best. Court is adjourned. All right, guys. That's the video, man. If you guys made it this far, man, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. All my socials are in the description. Right now, we're at 160 subscribers, man. Let's get to 200. Let's get to 200 before um, 2021. Why not? And, um... 2021 is going to be a big year for me, man. It's going to be a big year for me. I'm grinding. I'm grinding right now. So, And I'm glad for all the support that I'm getting, all the people that I make laugh, all the comments that I get, all the positive feedback. I kind of hesitated to start YouTube, but now that I did it, I, I, you know what I'm saying? It's been good. So um, let's keep it that way. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.